Hi everyone, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm Taha Yusuf. Um, today I just wanted to discuss really on Onbox programmability. Um, it'll be a brief video, hopefully. Um, I'm going to discuss um, Onbox programmability, what is Onbox programmability, um, and also I'm going to show the differences between NXOS, um, which is the Nexus platform, um, as well as the iOS XE. Um, now, there is a slight variation between the iOS XE um, catalyst switches um, um, as well as the iOS XE router, such as the, um, the CSR um, um, uh, routers and so forth. So, I'm, I'm going to focus really just on the um, what is onbox probability and how to enable that as well. Um, so, the core concept of onbox probability really essentially is to perform all your automation um, via the box itself so the router the switch um, and not rely on external sort of nodes you know as you would when you're doing automation um, you would push configurations or automation scripts from an external node whether that's a you know PC or um, Windows or you know Linux um, Linux box um, so really that is the core concept that that's usually overlooked because I think usually it's focused on sort of application hosting and things of that nature I think the the the, fun, the core fundamental aspects always gets overlooked on 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 box um, programmability which is essentially to not rely on an external node um, to do all your automation and to pretty much perform all your automation on box um, um, having said that um, I think um, what the, the, the main fundamental things I want to show you today is how to enable um, um, Linux essentially on your NXOS and then we're going to do the iOS XE as well so um, NXOS is a bit special in comparison to um, um, iOS XE when it comes to um, Onbox um, Linux um, because it, it supports two variation of Linux and I'm going to discuss that now the this feature that I'm going to quickly show you here um, let me just quickly show you so let me quickly show you how to enable we're going to enable um, bash first of all um, obviously so let's just go to feature bash shell and we've just enabled um, bash um, on on the um, um, NXOS now let's quickly just um, go back to it um, and let's run it um, so bash uh, run Around. so there we are so we've just enabled bash now you're probably wondering what is you know bash and um, obviously bash stands for born again shell um, but the key things are, are the key aspect that I want to discuss is um, that what makes this special in comparison to what I'm going to show you in a minute um, is that this um, what Cisco have done is um, on NXOS um, they call it um, open NXOS um, um, they've essentially obviously the, the the kernel that the switch is running on is, is a Linux is an embedded Linux it's a Wind River Linux um, and which is a embedded form of essentially Linux um, and um, what what the, the um, what Cisco seems to have done is they, they've exposed that Linux um, to the to the essentially to the user um, and uh, what makes it so much different than the the, uh, the iOS XE version is that this is exposing the all the underlying infrastructure so the physical interfaces are exposed directly to the kernel because that's what it's on right the Linux box is actually um, the, the switch is actually you know running a Linux kernel um, so it's quite a it is very special that you know you're you're, you're actually directly accessing the hardware resources um, such as the physical interfaces directly from the um, um, from from Linux um, and uh, that th this is what I'm, so just to show you exactly what version of Linux this is so let me just quickly show you um, where we are okay so that's where we are so let me just quickly show you the um, I'm just going to show you the home root directory um, so as you can see it's it's a full version of Essentially, it's an embedded Linux. Um, just to show you what version it is, what I'm saying, I'm just going to quickly show you the 
version of Linux. Um, um, as you can see on your screen here, it's a um, a Wind River um, Linux essentially. That's what the WR stands for, um, um, and it's an embedded form of um, Linux. Um, and this is essentially what the hardware is running on. Um, and like I said, what makes it a bit more you know special is that you is 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 exposed directly to the underlying hardware infrastructure. So the interfaces that you're looking at on your on your NXOS are essentially like an a NIC and an interface really um, um, uh, on a sort of a Linux box um, and uh, it allows you to directly utilize the hardware so this is a bit more special than what is on iOS XC um, so that's that so now moving along to um, um, the other form of Linux that, that's available on um, on iOS X, uh, on NXOS um, let's just quickly go back so as you can see, we've gone back to the, um, the Linux guest shell, enable. So again, it's just enabling that for a couple of seconds. Yep, looks like it's done. Um, let's just quickly check if it's done. Nope, looks like it's still not done. still in takes a while to activate the guest shell um, yep so that's done so if you can just type in guest shell there we are as you can see we're now in the guest shell um, so what is the difference between this Linux and what we've previously looked at for the okay so this Linux is actually a containerized version of CentOS um, I believe it's CentOS 8 that it's running um, and um, it's it's a containerized form, so it's essentially is running in a in a sort of a container. Um, um, those of you not who are not familiar with a container, it's just essentially a self-sustaining um, application that has all of its dependencies in in a sort of containerized environment, similar to a virtual machine. Um, and that is essentially what the, the, this version of Linux is. Um, what is the major difference between this and the other? Um, the Basho again, this is a container as well, so it doesn't have um, 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 access to the physical hardware infrastructure. So when you're doing routing, you have to do routing slightly differently uh, with with the uh, with the guest shell. Um, so you have to think use things like port, uh, virtual port group or, or on um, the iOS XE routers, but on the um, um, f um, uh, switches, you can go ahead and use. Um, um, uh, you can essentially attach it to the management um, VLAN or the management um, VRF but that is I would say the main difference is so let's just quickly quickly have a look at where we are so yeah so that's it and just to show you exactly what I mean um, in terms of the version um, So quickly just to show you exactly what version it is that I'm actually running. Um, let's just quickly see. There we are. Sorry, it's version 7 that it's running on this one. I lied. Um, so yeah, so it's CentOS, um, as you can see. Um, um, it's, it's CentOS, Fedora. So it... This is the, this is this is you've got to take into account that this doesn't have um, access to the underlying physical infrastructure of the um, of the device. Now it's it's a uh, Cisco call it IOX um, for it stands for basically iOS Linux. 
um, but this has it, this is a containerized form and it's mainly used to run applications on the edge um, of, of the uh, of the um, and I'll get to I don't want to talk about too much of the use cases because I think that's a, a whole separate video but that is how you enable guest shell as well as um, the bash shell on um, NXOS um, moving along now to um, we're going to move along to hopefully to um, iOS XE okay was an NXOS essentially the guest shell um, so we've just enabled it um, so let's go and check it out so let's just see um, Um, so yeah, as you can see, it's now running. Okay, but there's no, um, it's still not enabled just yet. So we're gonna essentially have to have to enable the guest shell. So if we can just go, Notice what happens this time as I try to enable the guest shell um, we get a error saying that there's no interfaces um, that's being configured that's because the um, with the iOS XE uh, we're gonna have to configure a essentially a, um, a VRF um, a way to uh, attach it to an interface um, there is an easy way to do that now I won't show you exactly how to go ahead and do that with the um, um, uh, how to essentially root root out this because um, you've got to remember this is a containerized version so it has no access to anything outside the, the the container itself so let me quickly show you how to do that now okay so let's just quickly enable sort of the app hosting um, guest shell really and um, that is the main thing so and then it's app hosting um, let's just call it test and then let's go ahead and enable that vmit that should be it so now let's go ahead and see if we can access the guest shell there it's now running so let's go ahead and go into guest shell there we are there we are again we're in the guest shell um, but this time um, we're in the iOS XE um, again this is a containerized version um, um, of Linux so let's quickly quickly show you exactly if you could remember earlier on it was running sent OS I believe it was 7 um, so let's quickly see what version it's running this time on the um, iOS XE platform um, there we are oh it's running 8 this time sent OS 8 um, so that is really the um, fundamental differences between running a Linux on the iOS XE as well as the NXOS. Um, so just to round things up, the iOS XE has the guest shell, um, so does the NXOS. Uh, but what makes the NXOS different is that you also have access to the actual um, underlying um, Linux, embedded Linux, um, um, that's the that's running on the actual hardware itself. So it's running on the it's running on the you know the the kernel itself um, so the embedded version is slightly more special in a way because it gives you access to the underlying hardware of the um, Nexus device where this doesn't um, um, but I think one key aspect that I want you to take away from this video is that 
once you enable um, um, NX um, Linux on on these um, boxes, whether it's a uh, NX OS or as well as the um, the Catalyst or, or the uh, any iOS XE, um, I, I believe the it's only compatible with iOS XE um, 9K um, and also um, the um, the the CSRs and, and the virtual platforms. Um, so the essentially the NFV um, platforms um, but what I want you to take away is that once you enable that do not think of your switch that you're using is a, a switch because that's the primary mistake that you're going to make if you want to get the full benefit out of the, 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 these guest shells or as well as the embedded Linux um, think of them as a Linux node right um, just think that you're running a Linux box and you're sitting in front of a Linux box, then you will realize that the possibilities are endless. And when I say endless, I mean, I can go on and on. Um, I know it's sort of marketed as a application hosting platform, but I can assure you, um, um, it is you've got a full fledged, pretty much Linux on there. Uh, you can have application um, uh, management such as a APT on there. You can have Python. I mean, it's, it's endless, I can go on. It's, so just assume that you are in front of a Linux box and uh, yeah, the possibilities are endless really. So yeah, thank you for coming to my channel um, until next time and hopefully I will make more videos on, on box programmability. This was just a short introduction and I'm also going to discuss their use cases as well next time and uh, some advanced sort of scripting that we can do. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it from me. Until next time, bye.